Hey guys, it's Paulie here, and in front of you is footage of my endgame warrior brute tank of the game Alds Online. For those of you who don't know, Alds Online is a free to play MMORPG. This video is my first of what I hope will be a series of many videos of the game Alds Online on this YouTube account. And in this video, it'll be footage of, well, as you can see, my warrior Paulie tanking the endgame instance White 17. And for anyone who's been observant, you'll notice we're not actually progressing through the instance. This is because it's a sort of standstill instance where mobs come at you in waves. But before I get into too much about the video, I'd like to introduce myself and the game. So basically, I've been playing this game, Alds Online, for four years now, <laughs> maybe even five. Uh, the reason for that is because I think it is a very fun game, I think it's creative, and before you jump to saying it's a WoW clone, through the, my series of videos, I will be showing you that it is actually very different to WoW, even though it takes probably until end game to notice it. Now, I have been wondering quite a lot over the five years I've been playing why this game isn't more popular than it is. And I think the reason for that is because there is a lot of controversy regarding the cash shop in this game. And though it's introduced and marketed as a free-to-play game, it can it has been seen as somewhat of a pay to win game and all of that kind of stuff. And yes, paying real money for the game does make Endgame a lot more convenient, especially if you want to be competitive at Endgame. Though it is possible and it isn't actually that hard to play without being uh, pay to play or pay to win, whatever you want to call it, without paying money full stop. Uh, now, a lot of good players in this game don't spend any money on G-Pots, which are the in-game in -game currency, which can be bought with real money. And yeah, I think the reason uh, it gets such a bad rep is because of the convenience the real money adds to in-game. However, persistence and endurance, whatever you want to say, can essentially make the cash shop and real life paying for the game redundant. And so basically, now I guess I'll get into the video a bit more. So basically, as you can see, I'm tanking this Alad, and in Alad's Online, the tanks have quite a range of abilities. As you can see along the bottom bar, I've got quite a lot of moves. Uh, probably the main ones for tanking this game are Cruelty and the basic AoEs, uh, area of effects for those that don't know. So basically, Cruelty increases your aggro. It's a move that increases your aggro, I think, 300, maybe 300 percent, yes. And um, as you can see, I'm, I'm using Cruelty, then I'm using my AoEs and my taunts to hold aggro. It's pretty standard. I mean, I'm gonna... I don't want to say this per se, but it's sort of like World of Warcraft in regards to tanking from what I can see. I mean, obviously, it's... Um, slightly different, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but anyway, well, it is a lot different, but I'll get into that later. Uh, as you can see, in the game, the graphics are quite awesome. I, <laughs> I guess that's one way to describe them. Uh, the uh, island or endgame instance uh, in the game Alods Online, they're known as Alods because, well, islands are just known as Alods. I'm not so sure why. Uh, an Alod is a floating island. Uh, yeah. Anyway, in this particular one, White 17, as it's called, you'll see that in the back, though it's snowy in the background, you'll see uh, industrial look, sort of like uh, Russian cities and slums, that kind of thing. It's 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 quite cool, all of the scenery and all that, and the graphics, as you can see, I don't know if they're coming out well in this video. Obviously, I'll improve my quality as I make more videos, but they're amazing. And yeah, there are lots of things to do in this game besides just uh, instances, there are skirmishes, there are cool mounts that you can ride, and and yes, the question will be raised, oh, but it costs real money to get mounts. Well, it doesn't, they do come in events and all of that kind of stuff, and as I said before, you can grind your way to getting them. Um, and at endgame, the, the amount of gold you can grind will get you enough. Um, for those of you who are wondering how much money you actually might want to spend if you want to um, remain competitive in Alves Online, I'd say the average endgame player spends roughly thirty to forty dollars. It's it's honestly not that much money. Um, uh, it is a video game, and there are a lot of video games such as 
Guild Wars 2 and World of Warcraft, which which cost a lot more than that just to play. So you've got to take that into consideration. Anyway, guys, Paul is in the guild Doom. Uh, guilds are very important to end game in Alt Online. Uh, there's a very complex guild system regarding guild tabards and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, I'll get into that later. As you'll see what I was doing there, I was actually kind of steering the, the slug, which I was tanking to the middle because I knew these little infested carriers. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really read it with these graphics. Uh, I mean, um, with this quality of editing. I'm using Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> yeah, they were. I knew that they'd come in in a set. So as you can see, there's the Alad. It's very um, uh, industrial and cool. And yeah. So I picked this footage of White 17 because I think it shows a lot of technical things in the game. It shows how the actual physical combat works and how it all moves around and yeah. Now Paulie is currently undergeared. This is because I've, I have took a break for quite a few months when they increased the level cap to 55 in Alice Online. Uh, however, he... Uh, as you can see, there's an advertisement for a cash shop thing in the middle of the screen. But as you can see, he's he's pretty he's pretty um uh, cool looking. That's because I'm wearing a costume. But anyway, yeah, he's pretty undergeared. But I will be gearing him up and making videos, hopefully, of more and more tanking as it comes. So as you can see, the boss is coming now. It says get ready for a tough battle in the middle of the screen, and then the boss is some kind of giant slug or caterpillar. I don't know what it is. Anyway, guys. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you didn't like it, leave a comment as well, telling me what you want me to talk about or what you want me to do, any of that kind of stuff. I mean, there are lots of things I'd like to film in this game. And yeah, uh, please subscribe if you like the video. Obviously, that would help me a lot. Now, as you'll see on this boss, I'm not actually uh, AOEing uh, and I'm not killing its little ads. There's a reason for that. That's because the adds, when you kill them, it actually heals the boss up. So, uh, as you can see, I'm fully focused on the boss, and I've told my party to fully focus all of their damage on the boss, because this is a DPS race fight. Uh, basically, I'm, I didn't show it in this video, but in the background, there's these sort of uh, bombs. I describe them as going to kill a man who we have to kill, and we have to kill the boss before the bombs kill him. So as you see there, the boss actually healed because one of my party members decided to kill the extras, which which turns out it was okay, but yeah, just for those of you doing this outlet, if you want any advice, it's just focus fire on the boss. If you can't focus fire, DPS, kill the boss, um, then you're probably going to have to gear up a bit more or get better DPS before you come back to this outlet. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be making more. Please comment, rate, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Thank you. See you guys.